Yo guys, what is going on? Lukey Animates here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial based on the Human Generator version 3 um, and Mixmo animations. Now I've done a lot of trial and error to get this to work, and it was very stressful. It took me hours and hours, but I finally got a method that works, and hopefully it will work for you. Um, just before we start, we you obviously need um, you know, a Mixmo account with the Adobe software, whatever it is. Um, you're gonna need a uh, human generator, whether it's version one, two, or three. I'm guessing all versions work. And you're going to also need um, a Rococo Studio Life setup. I'll leave it a uh, link in the description. Um, so first off, just get rid of everything in your scene. N, you press N. Human gen. Um, you know, create your character. I'm just gonna leave it as the base one. You know, just whack some hair on, I guess. Ponytail short, um, finish creation phase, that's fine. Now I found out that if you use uh, this rig, it's better because it actually works with the Mixmo animations. Whereas with the Rigify, which you can convert it to, it doesn't really work properly um, for this. So just don't mess around with that. Anyway, so you've got this. Now you're just going to press file export obj and export that i've already done that but you know save it in wherever you think you'll find it now let's go to mixamo now when you're on mixamo you want to upload your character uh, by pressing upload select character file and go to wherever you fa uh, saved yours mine is uh, in my document named untitled and you just let that upload and then once that upload is it uploaded you will need to apply um, all the um, I'm not sure what the name is as of right now so let's just wait right now it's processing so it should come up in a minute. Alright, now the auto rigger has popped up. So we just let it load. It shouldn't take too long. It should take less than 30 seconds. Right. Now it might look messed up. Um, I think that's just based on it thinks there's two, like a man and a woman kind of thing, because you can kind of see the breasts and like you know two armatures but don't worry that's got nothing to do with it now just place all these um things in the right places so for example the elbows knees and wrists and then the groin and that should be it and now just let it go for two about two minutes and we'll be back right now that is finished you should have something like this it looks great um, well, other than the fact that it's kind of two meshes and models combined, but that nothing to be worried about. Right, so find any animation you like. Um, part this one. This one looks quite good because there's a lot of movement. So download that with skin. Um, pick any FPS base on your scene, uh, and make sure it's FPX binary. Otherwise, with all of these, of one, it won't properly work. Now press download and let that asset download. Download it where, uh, save it wherever you like, and we'll be back into Blender. And now that we are in Blender, I've just added some clothing onto him, beard, some hair, whatever, and some shoes, I guess. Um, let me go back into. Uh, oh material preview now you want to import fbx wherever you saved it but mine is under here and it's called climbing see and that is imported now you might be where is it well when it gets imported into a uh, blender because of scaling it off you just want to come down here and see it or you can when it gets imported 
you come up to the top right click armature and press um, on your numpad the period slash dot button or delete and it will bring you to it now what you want to do just press N mind already open go to item scale it up all by the one there you go now it should be the same size obviously he's more slanted so it's not exactly the same size now ju I'm just gonna press G bring it to the left hand side and yeah so now you can see that there's two meshes there's a male and a female body so you can just delete one of the bodies that's fine now what you want to do is download the Rococo um, studio live plugin uh, you can I'll leave a dis uh, link in the description for that and once you've done that uh, make sure you've installed it properly like how you would any other plugin if you don't have to do that just go and find a different tutorial and come back anyway so now that you're here what you want to do is you press retargeting the source will be the one that you've just imported to the Mixamo the target will be this rig on uh, let's say Christopher because that's his name the human generator name and you just want to press build bone list now most of the time it should be cor all correct um, I find that the hips one never is imported so it's fine but you want to make sure all of these are correct to the same things so yeah now you want to just press retarget animation and you know voila just let it um, load and it, it should work properly <laughs> there we go it now it is done you can see that it works smoothly Now I think if I, you can delete this one now with the armature open, and it will still work. I'm sorry for the low FPS. I'm not sure why it's like that. Um, it might be because of maybe how my PC is not bad, so I don't know why it's doing that. But um, it could be to do with the fact that my I don't know actually. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Anyway, it works like a charm the animation so yeah I mean I can try and add like a, a cube here to make it look um, like he's actually climbing on something let's see it might work Alright, uh, maybe not, but you you get you get what I mean. It it kind of what it it, it works. <laughs> so you have to know it, it works. It works smoothly, and it will just work the exact same with other animations. So, for instance, in you just do the exact same FBX import. I have another one of the Capoeira, so I'll import that. And obviously it will be down there again. So you, uh, just scale it up on the one and the one and that one. And then just do the exact same. So Rococo, get rid of the first one, put the sources that on again, build boneless, it should be exact same. Retarget animation, let it load and we'll be back once it's done. there we go it is now done so as you can see it 
perfectly links up. Now before I used to get the arms clipping in, but because I've imported this this like this character into Mixamo and then exported it, it kind of like links I don't know the word, it kind of like smoothly makes sure it knows where all the armature bones are. So you can see that, that they don't clip inside anymore. And I'm very happy that this works, it took me so long. But yeah, you can see it, it, it's the same. And you don't need any other plugins other than this. Rococo Studio Live is free. And you know, I've seen someone use uh, something like Auto Rig Pro. You don't need that. You don't need that. This this method works fine. And I find Rigger Fight isn't like, all that great. No offense to the Rigger Fight plugin, but when I've used it, it's not the greatest when I use because I find I think I could probably um, use this easier to animate. Uh, you know, then rigify because it's not as complex, you know, and you can on this you can use AR kit with the facial mocap. So I guess it's however you think, you know, is better. But sure, it works. So thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day and enjoy with uh, your projects. Bye.